what's going on guys welcome back to the channel you are tuned in to the most wonderful most spectacular read through of all times yes i am the big cliche i am big papa pump without the pump i am the rock that is never hard king kong got a lot on me it's your one your only t b r terabyte reacts in the house i would just like to say you're welcome here we go again guys with another episode another chapter read through of berserk you guys in for a little surprise here i had a little bit of extra time as i'm taking a um a week break from rome so i have a little bit of extra time to do another episode of this i recorded one a couple of days ago haven't even released it yet but you guys are going to be in for a surprise because you're not going to be expecting this one but boom here we are with another chapter read through of berserk to complete volume one um, of this manga and I'm super excited to jump into this from last from last episode what we learned in the um, the chapter that was um, namely the brand I had to learn a little bit more about the brand even though I don't think I learned much but, <laughs> but I think I learned something I don't know at this point I'm we, we we jumping in right now I don't know what's going on all I know is that this guy guts or how they would pronounce it in japanese gatsu you know what i'm saying um it's his powers as i said i don't want to say he has powers yet i really don't want to say he has powers yet i just want to say that his incredible strength that he's being this that is being displayed at this moment is very peculiar it's it piques my interest because i want to know more about this spiritual world that is chasing him so bad it seems like the brand he has has some sort of connection to the spiritual world and they are voices that's in his head and it's plaguing him it's calling him is like he's trying to run away from it but he can't because of the brand so um what's his name puck very interesting character even though can be a bit annoying um but still enjoyable character nonetheless in the last chapter in the brand met met a priest um in a carriage and didn't go down so well you know he, he, he warned him he's like listen man evil spirits follow me around i don't think you want none of this i don't think you want to help me out right now you know what i'm saying it's better if you just go along your way you know what i'm saying i mean who knows if that had happened maybe the priest and the daughter would still be alive but on the journey um the priest died the daughter died very surprising the way how they did that the way how they, they write the story of how that happens man it was absolutely brilliant caught me off guard both their deaths caught me off guard i did not expect it to go like that it's basically fighting fighting an army of the dead um oh man that was that was brilliant that was brilliant um so i'm just i'm just enjoying this for what it is right now that chapter was was basically just kind of I don't know if it's a foreshadowing of things to come but i think so so we're gonna jump into this next chapter man this next chapter is very peculiar and i'm having a little bit of problem this freaking ad keeps popping up and i'm going i i don't know what how i'm going to solve this problem but i'm going to solve it before i start recording because it keeps popping up on the manga pages and i i'm going i'm, I'm going to have a problem with it I'm, I'm seriously going to have a problem with it because i don't want this thing flashing all over the screen in my full reaction so um, so I'm going to go and try to figure that out before I start recording the actual um, read through. But I hope you guys enjoyed the last chapter. I added a little bit of sound effects just to make it a little bit more 
um, dynamic. Hope you guys are enjoying that. Um, if, if, if it's too loud, if it's too low, you can let me know. Let me know because I'm trying to improve as I go along, do a little bit more editing, make it a little bit more enjoyable, whether it be a podcast style or whatever the situation is. You guys have said that to me, so I'm looking forward to it. So I will see you guys for the review. Hope you guys let me know what you think of the intro. Of course, um, if it's a if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, <laughs> whatever the situation is, I'm just trying to spice things up, make, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for watching as always, man. Hope you guys enjoy the full reaction. If you're just watching it on YouTube, I figured out a way to just to kind of like for the exciting parts. I saw I show a little bit of the panels, not too much. I can upload the whole thing to YouTube with panels without without any problems. But here's the thing. When they start searching, because these this is the thing that happens. You won't get like blocked or, you know, copyright claimed or whatever, or demonetized immediately. A lot, some of the time you do, but sometimes it's after the fact. And the thing about it is that when you upload it and it's there, you they might just hit you with a copyright strike. And that's why I'm not risking it. So to do the whole thing, because I've tried the whole thing and it uploaded with no problems. I could put ads on it. And all of this other stuff but I do not want to do that as you know because I do not want them to just oh oh so you just want to put up panels huh let me hit you with a copyright strike and then I just don't want to have to deal with YouTube and this foolishness so I just rather just you know give those exciting parts which is probably around two or three times I did that where I didn't have it blocked and I showed the panel um, during my, during my reaction of that exciting part or that surprise part. So hope you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoy that for what it is. Cause I will never upload the full thing to YouTube for you guys to watch purely on YouTube. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys for the review. Of course, for the read through, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Google drive, wherever you watching it, enjoy it. Come back for the review. I'm going to make sure that there's a timestamp for the review. So if you want, you can just go watch the review, whatever the situation is. So I'll see you guys later. Got to go solve this problem. Okay, here we are. Um, if you guys see this ad pop up, man. We just got to deal with it. We just got to deal with it because I have, you know, like the refreshing thing. Um, if any, if anything, if I have to refresh it, if I have to refresh the page to get rid of it, then I will. I'll just edit it out. Um, you know, it's just going to interrupt the flow a bit. I don't know why this ad just keeps popping up from the site. Now, it wasn't doing that the first couple of times I was doing it. It was just like a square box down there. But now an ad is appearing in the square box. And it's a little bit annoying because it's like one of those blinky ones. So I'm going to jump into this read through, man. This chapter, um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's <laughs> it's chapter three, chapter three. OK, chapter three. OK, I must learn to pronounce my my TH. OK, my TH. OK, so we're jumping in, man. Um, So. Seems here we have, it seems like something is going on, like, okay, so we got like, this looks like a gallows setting of some sort, so, okay, so we got a gallows setting up here, hope you guys can see my mouse, um, got a gallows setting, okay, we got verdict, it looks like somebody's reading the verdict, the inquisition hereby finds the accused guilty of making a pact with the devil and engaging in heresy most, most foul. The accused is therefore sentenced to immediate execution. Ah, oh, damn. And they have her laying down. Whoa. Are they going to cut her head off? Well, it's so she's saying it's a lie. It's a lie. It is such a lie. 
don't think that matters right now, honey. Damn, they have her head in the in the gallows thing. They ready to cut her head off, bro. She crying. Um, what does she say here? I gotta look at modern screen because this is like a wide panel. So she says, You've got to believe me. I'm not a heretic. Damn, he raised up the axe. Dude took her head off. They actually went through with it. They did not even listen. They did not want to hear that. So the people in the crowd, I guess these are the people in the crowd. Damn, and like, and he went, goes back into the t tent. He says, your excellency, the execution is complete. He says, well done, doll. Doll, doll. The hall is that the name of the hall or is doll? <laughs> the pre it's look like a priest, but this is the fifth one this month. I'm wondering if if we're not overdoing it a bit. If we keep this up, how long will it be before His Holiness intervenes? His Holiness, who's this? Damn. And this guy replies, "Your Excellency, I don't care." Arrest anyone who looks like a spy or a drifter. So it's not even about. They're not even really her, heretics. It's just if they're a spy or a drifter. So you're over here executing people for for wrong, for the wrong thing. It's not even not even for the actual crime that you're that you're executing them for. Bad as hell. Oh, my God. What is that, man? Damn you, ugly. It's that like, I do this all for the good of my subjects. It is my sacred duty to protect this kingdom from any accursed heretics. You see, the damn ad came back again. Y'all just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, honestly, I'll try to to to. I'll try to block it with something. Or something like that so it's not annoying for y'all because right now it's not it's not necessarily bothering me it's just that I'm worried how it looks on the outcome you see it comes back again I don't know why this ad keeps popping up on the site now for this chapter it's weird okay so we got ugly dude over here ugly fat pudgy um, looking dude uh, his excellency as the priest refers to him the peaceful existence of my subjects is my utmost desire, my utmost pleasure. I will not let anyone interfere with that. And the priest replies, yes, my lord. And goes down, and they're just, the soldier just picks, picks up the, um, picks up the head and just threw it. Oh, he dropped. Oh, damn. Oh, that's Guts. Guts picks up the head. Wow. Guts on the scene right now. So, it looks like a bo a little boy here pushing through the, through the crowd saying, Sister! Oh, so it's his sister. Damn, and they just pushed him down to the ground. And the soldier replied, anyone caught sympathizing with a heretic will not go unpunished. Even children, you'll be thrown into the dungeon. Now, Guts does not look happy. Everybody ho holding their head down. They can't even show any remorse. They can't even show any remorse towards the, the, um, the girl that died that they executed. So the soldier looks at Guts, he's like, hey, you, hand that over to me, will you? And he's like staring down. Boy, you better get out of Guts' face. Did he spit in his face? No. Guts spit in his face, bro. The disrespect, the disrespect is, is real around it. Real. So he's like with the nutbust face. Why you? So he's puzzled. 
So Guts seems like he's going to walk away or something. He lines it up. And he throws the head all the way into the tent. Into Fatty's face, bro. Into his face. Oh, he caught it. He caught it. Fatty caught it. His Excellency. He caught the head. Oh, is he sauce? We don't know. We'll see. Okay, so it says, so the priest up there says, Your Excellency, don't you know? So a soldier about to attack Gus. It's like, you bastard. Oh, and he caught an iron fist to the face. Sit down, bruh. Black swordsman in the house. Let's go. So Fatty still has the 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 head in the head in his hand. Oh she has a brand? What, so the the fatty is saying what what is this? This mark is Is she really dead then? Is she one of uh, Guts looks pissed. Okay, he points. The priest looks at him and is like, who, who are you? You. Guts points up there. Then he wipes some blood on the brand. I don't understand. Is that where he's getting his powers? I don't know. I'm confused. So he puts the blood on the mark, it seems. It look is he I'm trying to figure what he out what he's doing here. Is he putting blood on the mark or does the or does the brand just start bleeding on its own? Like I'm 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 confused. It did he get blood? <sighs> I'm confused. Okay, but we'll see. Eventually I, I'm probably gonna get it. So he just flashes his gold walks away after he wipes the thing around his neck okay wipes the blood around his neck so the priest shouts out what are you what are you doing just standing there after him quickly who in god's name somebody says the black swordsman i'm guessing that's fatty that's confirming that and he's like, how amusing. A declaration of war, perhaps? <laughs> Damn. And he just squeezes the head. Wow. He just squeezes the head and starts laughing. <laughs> okay. So it looks like he's sauce. His, his trans his transformation is probably going to be something really gluttonous nasty that's what i'm thinking okay so we got some mystery person here walking around in a quote in the corner that saw what happened i guess and guts takes off running why is he running oh he's still running from the soldiers okay He's running from the soldiers, so they got him backed up in the corner, it seems. But I'm not worried about Guts. I'm not worried about Gatsu. Guts. <laughs> I'm not worried about him. So it says, so their soldier is like, By decree of the Inquisition, you are hereby placed under arrest for conspiring with heretics. He didn't do anything than just take up the damn head. It's like, if you resist, your life will be forfeit. Like, y'all could actually kill Guts. So they put swords around Guts' necks. The sweet sound of sword cutting flesh. It is amazing to not hear in the manga. <laughs> But you can envision it. The sword going through the body takes, goes through both of them, takes, cuts both of them in half, 
He pulls his sword. Oh my god. Let's go. Intestines flying everywhere. These soldiers are standing there like, huh? What are we going to do? Should we run? Oh my god, that sword touches the ground, man. It's too big. It's too big. That's what she said. <laughs> Anyways. So. And then again, it was here. It was much too big to be called a sword. Massive, thick, heavy, and far too rough. Indeed, I was like a heap of raw iron. <laughs> but that's, that's the thing about it now. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> what kind of sword is that? Don't just stand there. Ch are you over here telling people to charge like you did not just see what happened? How we just cut them dudes down? I'm, I'm sorry, man. In times like these, I think we should go. <laughs> so they attack and Guts is slicing. Slice one more. They still coming down. I'm like, come on, bro. Oh, my God, he's slicing and dicing. He's slicing and dicing. Oh, my God. Here he is. The soldier have the... <laughs> is he trying to defend against his sword? Oh, my God. He cuts the... The man cuts through the guy's sword and still cuts him in half, bro. This sword is too magnificent. It is too big. It is too big, too heavy. The man cuts through sword and head and everything. Look at this image, bro. Look at this. Cuts him in half. Cuts that guy. Oh, my God. It's gruesome. That's gruesome. Let me see. What page are we on? We are on page 26 for a quick update. We're already on page 26 of this one. We have... It's not that big, actually. It's only 60. 60 pages in this chapter. Okay. So, man, he's just tearing them limb to limb, cutting guys in half. Nobody seems to be getting the point because <laughs> they just keep coming. So, dude, somebody stops. One of the soldiers finally stops and says, what an incredible sword. He's slicing our armor in half with it. He's inhuman. <laughs> 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 Oh, they brought out the crossbows now. Okay. Guts above you. I'm guessing that's um that's Puck. It has to be Puck. That's warning him. It's always Puck that's warning him. So so Puck's come down like a shining light, it seems. And they're like, oh my eye. So he attacks the archers. Wait a minute. What happened here? Oh, he's still slight. No, he takes down the whole freaking building that they were on shooting him from, bro. He just takes out the building. They fall to the ground. Oh, my God. So, Puck is like, hey, I saved your life. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Guts is like, you're still here? Really, bro? <laughs> I can't get rid of you, can I? <laughs> Yeah, so he's <laughs> Puck is flexing his muscles. Looks like you owe me one now. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's going to work out well for you. So, wait a second. Did somebody sneaks up behind Puck and grabs him? Is one of the soldiers and immediately Guts cuts his it cuts his arms off. Look at that. Come on, man. Acting like he don't care. <laughs> so, so Puck is like, now we're even already. <laughs> it's like, hey, you're going too fast. So they're still attacking him. It was like, C -C Captain Lord Zondark. Oh, so they brought out the heavy artillery now. Like, um, so Lord whatever, Zondark or whatever they call him. That's quite a sword you've got there, little man. This man just... The, what is it with the disrespect in this, in this chapter, man? Like, 
How are you gonna call a man with a sword that size, swinging it like it's nothing, little man? Cause, cause what? You probably like a feet or two taller? So Puck is like, he's huge. Again, that's what she said. <laughs> Let's see how that sort of yours fears. So he swings his hammer or mace or war hammer, if you want to call it that. So he swings. I think that's a war hammer, though. That's not a mace. So he swings the war hammer um, and says, when I put it to the test against this war hammer. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. That's not a mace. It's a war hammer. So I was right. Um, so he swings the hammer completely misses it looks like he, he stepped away from it and it hits the ground everybody's like Ooh, and puck has to get out of there because i'm guessing it rooted up the ground he swings it again took out a couple of his soldiers man Z zondar don't have no no regards for his underlings <laughs> He just swinging away and away. I hits one of his dudes in the face again. So he's just there just swinging this thing, trying to take Guts out. And Guts is just like, probably just sidestepping us like, dude, come on. You're going to regret when I swing this sword. Yo, Guts is such a boss, bro. He is such a boss. Look, look at this, bro. Look at this right here, man. Like, he's like, bruh. If you're going to swing, at least swing like you want to hit me. I'm bossing right now. You you can't touch me. He puts a hole in the wall right by Guts' head. Right by Guts' head. It's like, hey, hey, what's wrong? There's nowhere left to run. Well, yeah. Why is Puck, after all that Puck has seen, Puck has seen, guts do he is still panicking when guts is fighting like if it was me i would have been like don't worry about it he gonna die anyway <laughs> it's like i'm not worried about him i'm actually worried about the other guy <laughs> you know so we got this other this um dude looking down at guts zap zon lord zondark and he says see it's not just a question of size if you can't handle your weapon it's nothing more than baggage. And then... Then Guts decides to swing. What will happen? Okay. So it looks like it's going to be a clash. But... What happens? It smashes the Warhammer, bro. Smashes the Warhammer... The 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 um the shock wave of hit hitting um the sword the shock wave of it blew his helmet off of his head shatters the warhammer shatters his helmet and everything and that's just the shock wave it seems right so the soldiers are like captain so now gut steps on his head <laughs> God steps on his head and is like, couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, you got to be able to handle your web. Oh, he kicks him in the face. And they're all like, Lord Zandor, no. So this, who is this person watching from a distance, man? Uh, so they're like, you miserable cur. I think it's time for you guys to run. He just beat a guy, your top guy. It's time for you guys to go, man. So, dude, so Puck is like, oh, Guts. And his, uh, <laughs> Guts is like, damn, there's no end to them. They just keep coming. So somebody threw something over there. Like lights or grenades, probably. I don't know. So they're like, what in the hell? Maybe it's smoke bombs? Oh, so I'm guessing that came from this mysterious person. So they're like, this is like it's smoking. Okay, so it's smoke bombs. 
So the person shot out, you there, over here, quickly. So I guess the one that was watching from a distance with the cloak and everything, like, called out to Guts, tell him to come over there. So I guess he's trying to get, get them out of the trouble. So Puck is like, ooh, us? Soldiers are like, he's still here. Where? Find him. <laughs> Dude is like, what are you doing? Hurry up. He's like, oh, wait for me. What it looks like. So Guts sheets his sword, put his back on his back. Anyway, so soldiers are there. They're looking for them. They're like, kill him, kill him, find him. Don't let the bastard escape. Okay, so they walked off with the this whatever that is in the code. Um, another person. Like, how unfriendly. Spock swears that Guts <laughs> wants him as a friend. And, and, you know, they're unofficial friends at this point, you know. Because he sees him in danger, still protects him. So it's unofficially their friends. Okay, so. Okay. It's like, what took you so long, basically? Okay, so it's because everyone's suspicious. You never won't know when you might be accused of heresy or by whom. And they're not just afraid of strangers, acquaintances, neighbors, friends, even family. In this town, people are a thing to be feared. Damn, do they fear their own people? Because the mandate is that, you know, because they sus they're they suspicious of everybody, like anybody could get it, you know. And so the person is like, here we are. As if you're not suspicious. Look at what this dude has in his house or whatever the hell he got skulls and and skeletons i mean you already not giving me great vibes you got intestines and jars this is like some some um some Dahmer situation right here so puck is like gross dies like what is this place is he a butcher or maybe an Eastern herbalist. <laughs> I don't know what he is, but it's creepy. Whoa. Is that a like a female elf? Oh. <laughs> He's, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck is like. Sees the female elf in a. There's a female elf in a jar. Puck sees it and faints <laughs> so guts is talking now he's like quite a collection i suppose if somebody were to accuse you of being a heretic you'd have a hard time explaining this all this hmm. so the person replies aha nothing of that sort just a has-been physician that's all i am Guts hacks him. Who are you? Why did you help me? And he says, you know, I saw you at the execution grounds today. Do you have some sort of grudge against the, the count? Is it revenge? Guts says, I am the one who's asking the questions, not you. <laughs> Why did he fall over like that? He just fell over on the floor. Like, that's weird. <laughs> did Guts do something to him? Oh, Guts, <laughs> Guts knocked away his walking stick. His, walk his cane, I should say. You know, back home, we call it walking stick. Um, but the, the, the more common term is cane. Right? So... <laughs> Guts knocks away the cane and he falls in his face. <laughs> so Puck is like, that's horrible. Why do you have to kick him like that? <laughs> you okay, mister? He's creepy. He is creepy, though. <laughs> is it a cane or a peg leg? No, he kicked the cane. It looked like he kicked the cane up here. He kicked the cane. Right, but it looks like he has a peg leg right here. So, so he says, I couldn't afford to let them capture you back there. I want you to kill him. 
So Guts is like, huh? So Doctor says, I want you to cut him into little pieces. That demon. Wow, what did he do to you? This guy's disgusting. What happened to him? Something must have happened to him. This is like, he that a curse count. He's not even human. He's a demon. I think Guts knows that. Look at me. These legs. This face. That fiend cut them up piece by piece and ate them. Oh my God. So he's like, you don't believe my story, do you? I think he believes you, sir. <laughs> I really do think he believes it. So God says, I believe you. No, rather, I know what he is. That's what I'm saying. Like, he should know. And he's like, he has a sense for these things. That's what I'm saying. Like, he has some sort of spiritual energy that is yet, yet to be explained to me. But I'm. it's just me guessing. Okay, so we have wings, wings. So he's wheezing, of course. There's something I want to show you. So he pulls something. A secret door. So Puck says, why do I have a feeling it's going to be something awful again? <laughs> Look here. So the former doctor, or this ugly thing <laughs> that got his stuff eaten, like this is it so what is in this is this an egg it looks like an egg so guts is like got a surprise look on his face like this is what what does it look like what why is this ew damn i just got i just got goosebumps bro from seeing oh my god it's ridiculous what is this is this his eyes his nose and his mouth like preserved or something no he says it's a behelot what is that why is that a surprise is that the end oh my god uh they're gonna leave me like this for volume one though Oh, man. Damn. Okay, so the name of the chapter was Black Swordsman Arc. The Guardians of the Desire, Chapter 1. I probably should have done the first two first and then did two of this. Because um, why would they... They wanted to end the volume on a cliffhanger. That's why they did that. Um, So, man, that was... Learned a lot got some action so that was cool so that's it man another 30 minutes so great um so in this chapter in in this chapter we got learn a little bit more about the um i still can't put my finger on what this brand is about i i don't know but I'm going to talk about a little bit about this chapter in the review, of course, and what the hell uh, we, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm curious. I want to know what the hell a behelith is. Um, it's weird. It's a weird situation that's going on right now. It seems like you're going to face off against someone like the Baron again. So I'm looking forward to it. So I will see you guys for the review, of course. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you go and check out the review. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So welcome back to the review of Berserk chapter. Um, this is chapter three, actually, of the the volume one. But it is called the Black Swordsman. And so they started the Black Swordsman arc um, in at the end of volume one. It's the end of volume one. The Guardians of um, the Guardians of Desire, Chapter One. So they ended Volume One on a cliffhanger, him being in, a, in some sort of basement with this former doctor or whatever, or physician as he calls himself. Same thing. Um, and he, dude is pissed. He's pissed off at. I'm I'm pretty sure it's that that dude 
because he recognizes the mark so i'm thinking he's a demon too he's a spiritual being like the baron that's what i'm guessing so i'm excited to see how that's gonna go down i'm guessing his form is gonna be some sort of gluttonous fat ugly looking piece of doo-doo that <laughs> that's what i'm guessing but in this chapter we got some great action man um nothing really to review except the ending part because the first part was just mainly like um this the city you know um they haven't really shown what the name of the city was but um they're basically just executing people for suspicions of being spies so say for instance so this guy is, it seems like the guy is very paranoid this new demon or the, as they call him your excellency or whatever the situation is so it seems like he's he's very paranoid of the people in the city like they're spying on him maybe reporting about things that are happening in the city and he's killing them basically executing people for for heresy which is not really what he's executing them for but it's, it's an excuse to execute people you know so if they if they're suspicious of spying on him or whatever maybe you look at him too hard or something like that he's gonna ex execute you but he's gonna say oh you're being suspicious of being you know cooperating with with evil spirits and stuff so you're gonna die <laughs> so that's how he runs the town um guts was pretty upset about it i don't as you can see i'm still very confused about the brand i don't know if he's wiping blood on the blend on the brand or if the brand start bleeding when he's like around spiritual beings like i don't know like i that's what i'm guessing like when he's in close contact with spiritual beings the brand start bleeding i'm thinking that's what happens but also it still kind of look like he wiped the blood on it the last in this chapter so I, I i don't know so i don't know entirely what's really going on but i'm guessing in the future we're gonna find out how it, this thing really works i still believe that there's some sort of spiritual energy here within him i mean the way how he swings that sword man is beautiful beautiful yes so very much you know what i would expect of him being they're really out to display his strength at this point in the manga so i'm digging it there's really there's very few um story development points but i'm digging the pace because it's not rushing you get what i'm saying it's not rushing it's just kind of showing him going from places to places um but we but an arc has started now. I guess the first two chapters was basically kind of an introduction. But in this chapter now, we have started an arc. So I'm guessing there's going to be a lot more story development, learning about the spiritual world a lot better. Um, so that's what I'm expecting. So great, great, great stuff, man. This, this manga has gripped me. And I have to say thank you to you guys again for suggesting me doing this. Um, I know not a lot of people is doing berserk read throughs on YouTube. So, um, tell your friends about it, man. Tell your friends about it. And as I said, hope you guys enjoyed little few, the few things that I, um, that I add towards, you know, with my edits and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoy it because when I do that, I still have to render it out separately. Um, I still have to render it out separately um, to get those on to get that out to the Google Drive and it takes up more space when I when I actually do that because when I render it out it becomes a bigger file so because of the, the quality that I'm from with the 720p it it raises the stakes for me it takes up a lot more space on the Google Drive when I do that um, but it's whatever um, it's, it's not a complaint just letting you know what's going on okay um so thank you guys for watching as always man it's always a pleasure to sit here by myself and then give <laughs> i didn't let you guys 
watch me read yeah so it's always a pleasure man i enjoy doing it um so thank you guys for supporting these videos man it's been it's been a great ride we're about to hit what 1800 subscribers on the channel and i love the pace that my channel is growing i have zero complaints zero complaints because it's a very um active channel i would say um they are certain things that goes on in the channel that i don't particularly enjoy but it, it you know it comes with the territory so i have to deal with it so thank you guys for watching as always man just remember you are terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys for the next one peace don't forget to like and comment